<laughs> hey, Matt. <laughs> Matt, now don't tell a lie. You were just wearing that lamp shade on your head, weren't you? It was a great cameo. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> we uh, we should have a, a motley crew with us. Uh, who do we got? We got Ian Clayton. How are you doing, Ian? Awesome. I'm just uh, having a hot flush, but I'm okay. <laughs> Antipodean host uh, Kirsty McGowan. Hello, Kirsty. Hi. Hi. What a ride, Chris. Have you recovered? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm recovering slowly. It's, um, it's, it's been a long 24 hours. I've managed to get up in the night and catch a few snippets, but uh, and my voice is going. I, uh, I think I did a lot too much talking yesterday. Uh, uh, Mark Kawasaki, how are you? Good, really good. It's been fun. Yes, uh, uh, big big debut for you and Farah. Uh, Mr. Hooper, I'm doing great. Are you sure? Is my audio working? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the lamp off his head now, so we're okay. That's yeah. right. And then, uh, I seriously need a drink at this point. But... Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the always profound Mr. Uh, Rob England, how are you? I better not have a drink. It's 10 o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> As Breed Lewis would say, it's Ireland somewhere. Um, That's right. <laughs> Uh, S Simone, how are you? Very well indeed. And then finally, the person who kicked this event off and uh, believed enough in making it happen, Miss Tessa Truebridge, how are you doing? Well done, Tessa. Well done. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> absolutely, I'm absolutely brilliant and nothing to do with me entirely. It's all the brainchild of Mr. Dancy, so round of applause for him actually for just making it happen because he drove us to it. He slightly drove me insane in the process, but he did drive us to it. <laughs> well, that was what I said is that I wish I'd known Chris earlier because then every time my mum said, Why did you do that? Chris made me do it. <laughs> hey, hey, Tess, I thought you said it was snowing in London. I can see bare shoulders. Oh, it's not snowing now. It snowed for about um, two hours this morning. Um, about seven o'clock and we were live with TFT which is amazing because despite the snow TFT carried on regardless so one of the beauties of a virtual event there so let go. me see we've got we've got London uh, yeah. uh, the south of France mm -hmm. New Zealand Boston Atlanta um, New Zealand uh, and Southern California and Denver is that right yep sunny San Diego ah oh, jealous all right, so let, let, let's do some let's do some debrief. I thought we'd spend about 15, 20 minutes just kind of wrapping up and collectively, because now we can bring a lot of people on, talking about what we thought. It's your show. Love it. Got to do more. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And I think we should do things a little bit like this, perhaps. If we get questions posed and we run a panel. This, the yeah. Panels are what conferences, where people go to conferences, they often say, I got more out of a panel. I mean, this is a great opportunity. I think April Allen made a comment on Back to ITSM on Facebook, and, and I think it, it just hit spot on that the before and after a little bit of dialogue with, with the, uh, the moderator, it, it brought out the personality of who are you t who are you listening to and who is this person. It made them real, right? Uh, and, and I think that's something you just don't get at conferences. You, you never get it, right? And, and, and it just made it, you know, this is, this is something these people feel very passionate about. And... Uh, and passion, passion is, uh, you know, it's uh, contagious. Well, Mark said something to me. I think it was via a, a tweet, wasn't it, about, um, you know, I didn't know you had that other life. We've all got these uh, other interests and other lives. But, and, yeah, it makes it does make it more personal, more real. The yeah, challenge I mean, is going... Carry on, Rob. I was going to say the challenge is going to be to absorb 24 hours of material, of course. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was thinking about. Well, I was thinking about that. You know, and I thought to myself, you know, if I keep trying, because people keep saying, "Well, why did you do it this way? And why did you do it that way? And why did?" You? And and my goal was not to to replicate a physical conference, mm -hmm. right? I'm not building yeah. what we do in land, just like you know, form based workflow in the web. Well, that's from paper forms, which is probably from papyrus, right? <laughs> I'm not going to carry on a tradition that's not fixing the problem. 
Yeah. So, so it'll, be, uh, it'll be interesting to see the life of these individual presentations for the next few weeks and months as well. Well, and again, that's I think the the power of the platform was, you know, you've got the videos uh, as they stand. The presenters who made standalone videos were going to share those. Uh, the the audio alone, and then the audio alone on iTunes, the slides alone, and then the bios and transcriptions, all of that put together in all these different places. You know, again, this conference wasn't just a digital first digital only event, but it's a digital everywhere event. It wasn't just streamed today. What what got created will live much longer than any physical conference ever did. Yep. And, and, and it will be I, a I, remake. Yeah, and I just want to give a, a couple quick shout outs uh, for some inspiration before we can break down the different pieces. If it wasn't for my time at Pink Elephant and understanding how they put together conferences and the commitment mm -hmm. to excellence they put around that, I couldn't have done this. Uh, and if it wasn't watching um, HDI and, and being a speaker and knowing how they handled me as a speaker, uh, but you know, tra treating me well. Uh, if it wasn't for uh, people like the ITCMF Australia and SDI uh, who uh, allowed me to travel, of course, I wouldn't have a perception on what it would be like to be a, treat a speaker treated well, a consumer who was respected, and in an event that encompassed me and made me feel connected. So I think it's it's a lot more than me. It's 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 a it's a global it's it's the global group of physical membership organizations that made this possible. This this is not a displacement. This is an extension of. So it's a melange of all those experiences you've had. Very much. Hang on, Simone. I have to look that word up. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to remember where I'm sitting right now. I I had so much trouble. I, it's interesting to hear all the different accents through the conference. I thought that was uh, really interesting. It wasn't until I played some of uh, <clears throat> my own back to listen to it and I realised that although I was speaking English again, I was actually thinking in French and I realised that it wasn't exactly the way I would say something sometimes. Um, but that was a great experience, Chris, to have... Um, you know, hear Spanish spoken and, and Russian accents and all sorts of things. It was great fun. I think what I, what I sort of feel about it was uh, when, when there's physical conferences going on around the world and you, you sit there and you think, oh, I'm missing out. All, these, all this material has been presented and I'm on the other side of the world and I'm missing it. And then yeah. when I went to go to bed, when I went to go to bed last night, I thought, oh, no, I'm going to miss out on this. And I thought, no, don't be silly. You're not missing out on it. I'll just pick it up and consume it tomorrow or the next day or the next day. It's, yeah. it's going to be there. Nobody globally is missing out on anything this time around. This, this conference is in everybody's living room on everybody's laptop or mobile device. It's just, it's just there and it's ready to be consumed. And, it took yeah, the pressure enjoyed. off. Mm. And that was the other thing. I mean, uh, we had a lot of, we had, not a lot, but we had a, a fair amount of technical issues. I mean, Rob, at one point, you came back. And I actually, I realized at, at one moment, he's doing this deliberately so we could see that he's serious <laughs> about this section. This is not Rob making a mistake. This is Rob showing us, this is my, I'm going to hurt you face. Uh, and then, uh, so, but it, I thought it just humanized everybody. Uh, I mean, it was, it was so beautiful to watch the technology humanize the process. Uh, I didn't catch every session, but I did. Uh, I did catch Barkley Ray. So hats off to you, Tessa, for <laughs> jumping Thank in there. Thank you very much, Matt. That was a great yeah. session. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed Barclay's session. I missed the the, I, the four hours I slept. So it was Barclay, uh, Mark Smalley, um, Ivor, maybe not Ivor. Um, no. Um, yeah, did you miss Arla this morning? I missed Arla. Yeah. Well, I made sure he was on the air, and then I said, okay, once Arla's happy, you can go to sleep, because you do not go to sleep with that, that happening. Yeah. I did love Mark Smalley's outfit. I, I love the I black backdrop and his, and his bow tie. <laughs> Forgive me, Mark. You know, you know I love you. I've been on the panel with you. He, looked, he reminded me of a marionette, though, just seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he I thought he looked right. underdressed. <laughs> well, he forgot to wear the bling with it. <laughs> yeah, I wanted a tiara. I, I think we can. We I think we can raise the production standards going forward. We'll become more expert at, as speakers mm -hmm. at manipulating mm -hmm. the environment in which we're speaking. Mm -hmm. So, I nearly pulled it off to have six <coughs> simultaneous video feeds that I was switching <laughs> between. I've got the studio. I've got the technology. You tweeted it's a picture just, of it. The text just not quite good enough to 
Well, I think, Ooh, Matt, yeah. you tried to do that, didn't you? Oh, I, was I, I did. I did. I, I actually had VNC running my Macintosh using Join Me to run a different <laughs> session. And then I, had, I used my iPad to control my keynote. Oh my I, I, I've got a picture of it as well, too. I'll tweet it. I'll tweet it. Yeah, we'll, we'll be better at that next time, I'm sure. <laughs> so, so I, I, love the, yeah, I love the fact that um, Rob Falkowitz made his presentation accessible. I, I think he, he did that a great was job. Cool. Yeah, yeah. He kind of took, you know, he took TFT to another level, really. You know, we mm -hmm. took it so far, and then he really invested his time and energy into just mm -hmm. moving it on that step further, and that was pretty awesome. He cared about Maybe that's he, something he, that he, he, he cared about moving knowledge as frictionlessly as possible to as yeah, many people, yeah. and that's yeah. what we get paid to do. Yeah, yeah. That might be something for consideration for TFT thirteen. Well, you one know, of the interesting things I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but every video on YouTube now, underneath mm -hmm. the video, has the captions. So they they transcribe the video. So underneath all of our videos, it's in a very small bar. You'll notice mm -hmm. there's a little, and you can jump to certain parts of the video just by looking at the words mm -hmm. and the timestamp. Wow. And I'm not sure if that's a Hangout feature, or, but I was like, wow, robots are recording what I'm saying. And then I realized I'm talking on the internet. <laughs> it's just, it's just kind of crazy. Um, so speaking of not the end, so I mean, you know, we're talking about next time in June, uh, blending this with a real conference. So uh, it'll start uh, in where the sun starts again. And then it'll come full circle around the globe, but pass through the SDI Dream event. So physically, it'll come on stage and then leave stage. What do you oh, guys think? Are we, are, we, are we trying to push the boundaries too much? No. no. Can't push the boundaries too no. much. But Tess, was it you that said, uh, I think in the, the pre-chat that you guys had with this, that um, you know, I think physical conferences are still there, and they will still be there. but. You know, combining them like that, you know, having that pass through um, really does bring them together that much more. Yeah, entirely. I mean, yeah, there will always be a need for kind of physical conferences, I think. People always yeah. like that kind of face-to-face -face engagement and networking. Yeah. But actually, if we yeah. can bring the virtual event and combine it with a physical event, you have mm. the best of both worlds. Mm. And it's pushing the boundaries again for TFT 12 or 13, should I say. So, yeah. And, you know, um, I know Ian's kind of nodding and said yes, so I'm kind of assuming now that you're all volunteering to help us with TFT 13. <laughs> <laughs> so my <laughs> question is, is will, will the virtual conference be the filter for the physical conference? Um, just uh, look at Matt's uh, picture that he just tweeted before you ask him to volunteer to do the tech, will you? <laughs> okay, I'm looking right now. <laughs> and I mean, boundaries, what, I mean, what's this word boundary? Being, I, I don't think it's in our vocab anymore, is it? No, I, I, I put on I put on Facebook, I said, where we're going, we don't need inboxes. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I know people, you know, poke fun at email all the time. I, I think, you know, to come completely clean, which I haven't done on the email problem, uh, I used to call myself on my cell phone, and I had one to leave myself voicemails. <laughs> and, and the reason I think, and I'm going to come clean in front of, you know, just a few people, <laughs> the reason I don't like emails is because I send myself about 100 emails a day. So I, I can't keep up if you send me also email. You know, it just doesn't work. It's just your personal message box, Chris. Well, yeah, because sometimes it's just quicker to do that. And I'm, I, you know, I'm trying to use other tools. Evernote, you know, I love Evernote. We've talked about how we used it to collaborate at the conference. They launched yeah. a business version of Evernote yesterday uh, at the same time we kicked off the conference, which is interesting because now I can have my work stuff and my personal stuff combined in a cloud space. But the Evernote mobile app, it's actually you bring it up and it kind of waits a second before it takes a note. And when I've got something in my head, I mean... At 44, I don't remember it for more than a second. I can't look at a phone. I can't look at a phone number and look away. I mean, I, the phone numbers have to dial when I look at them. Don't you have that app? Don't you have that uh, microphone app on your phone? I love that. Where I just I just record the note, just bang. Well, you can also call IFTTT and have it transfer it into Evernote as a wave file. Oh man. Ooh. <laughs> Oh. Hey, hey guys, what did you think of the variety of the topics? I thought it was great. I mean, go ahead, uh, Hooper. Uh, I was going to say I thought it was I thought it was a great diversity. I mean, I, I was kind of cringing when I was listening to a, a few different things. You know, Barclays and then Peters and and uh, I don't speak Spanish, so I didn't catch the two before me. But 
I, I was cringing because I knew I was going to very specifically <laughs> contradict some of the things they said. <laughs> that's good, right? Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's healthy. It yeah. is good. Yeah, I, I thought, I, I mean, we could have done a better job at sharing what the topics were. I mean, we, we, I think we just put a list of yeah, people yeah. who spoke. And on the, if you had to go to another site, you know, that was one of the things a lot of people have expressed was I had to go to all these different places to find it. I apologize. I've heard you. We will make that change. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot sit through an Ian Clayton presentation and not say mea culpa, right? And it's just, uh, <laughs> I, will, I will fix it. Uh, you've been heard. Yeah. Uh, I, I must admit, awesome. I actually did have uh, the different tabs open. I had the Listly tab so I could refer back to topics. I had SDIU speaker program list and, um, and of course, the final update from Service Sphere size. And so I could just keep clicking between them very quick, mm. quickly. So, yeah, it'd be good if it was just click the one link and you get the info. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I've always said, uh, to, you know, the TFT's goal is to kill TFT. You know, <laughs> th th this, this, this concept will be done when other people are doing this concept. Yeah. Uh -huh. that's, right? that's what I said on Back to ITSM, I think, was that this conference is unique because, not because it uses social, but because it is social. Yeah. And hopefully it will help people see that we all have good ideas that we can share. Get a video yeah. camera, get a webcam, get yourself out yeah. there and start talking about things with other people and that will be the competition for TFT in the future. Yeah, yeah, it will be our own competition. Yeah. And, so, and one of the speakers said, you should, your aim should be to make yourself redundant. Yeah. Who was that, you, Simone? Yeah, it was me. Don't be afraid to be redundant. No, and, you know, and that's one of the reasons, you know, work and different jobs have always said to me, you know, uh, Chris, you just can't be sharing all this stuff. And I'm like, trust me, people don't have the time to even read it and do something with it if they did. <laughs> I mean, I understand there was a time when you had to be really careful giving away IP, but yeah. people can't even pee now without, like, <laughs> reading 18 things. It's, it, we're safe now. <laughs> Our IP is secure by the sheer volume of nonsense people are, are subscribed to. No, that's right. There's so much out there now. <clears throat> I just had the, just when you were talking about you can't even go pee without doing it, I'm just thinking, yeah, well, I mean, now instead of having magazines beside the loo, <laughs> we've now got our iPads beside the loo, and I'm thinking, hang on, there was a reason why there was old newspapers by the loo. Mm. <laughs> Simone, you if, you, for that, Simone. <laughs> if you check out a video on YouTube, I was going to cover it, but, you know, there's too much to cover, A Day Made in Glass by Corning. Yes. What's going to happen is you're going to be, well, I mean, it's different. Us men might be standing up when we're peeing, but you're standing there and they put the glass there and it'll all be in front of you. Yep. And you can just do all this hand stuff and say, no, show me something else. Like, well, like so Minority like Report. watching uh, Avatar or watching uh, Mission to Mars and things where they just, you know. As long as it's a one-way mirror, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they call that, two-way. <laughs> No, there's it's an output, there's an input. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think Google are more on the money with their goggles. I think you'll walk around with the display. It won't be on the surfaces in your oh, environment. Okay. You'll, be, you'll be wearing it. It'll oh, go wasn't everywhere. Amber's presentation around that cyborg wow. stuff brilliant? Hmm. Oh, that, that just fascinated and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can already scan an image directly onto your retina. We, once that technology goes commercial, you'll just you have know, a little Madonna thing here. When, when I first started uh, two years ago taking non-service management topics and wrapping service management around them, I think there was a seminal moment at SDI last year where I, I talked about the last phone call I make to the support desk in 2051 and, and it was having my brain uploaded and, and what it was like to pick a service level for that. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I, I think there's room for us to push our processes and, and our thought patterns without leaving service management. There's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no definition that you have to, I mean, you can't talk about robots as they relate to support. Yeah. And I think Amber's message was, you know, really spot on. We're all cyborgs. I mean, I know some people who spend, you know, who are more, di you know, digital than they are, than, than they are human. And, um, you know, we're in a very, very interesting time as a lot of people have said, you know, you know, I thought it was interesting. The message was constantly focus on people. We need to focus on people. And I, in my mind, all right, so, you know, they, the Chris from two years from now, I'm like, well, what does that really mean? 
Because I don't know that many people. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Lots of people know you, though, Chris. Yeah. Well, I, 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 well, they think they do. Uh, now we're getting to it. <laughs> you know, again, I know all of you people, right? But I, when I'm with you, sometimes you guys become unhuman. You fall into your device, or you get distracted by, you know, a song playing someone. You just become not like it was ten years ago. And ten years ago, my mother would have hit me for the behavior I walk around in the street and do today. Yeah. What'd you say, Chris? Exactly. So yeah, you, your your attention gets gets drawn, and yeah, you as a. And, and the talk really brought it home that you you live in different realities. I mean, you you're in the in the person with you know who you're talking to, but then your mobile phone goes or an email comes or comes through, and and you are momentarily in a in a completely different plane of existence. Mm -hmm. I was at Qdoba, which is a, a Mexican restaurant here in Denver, two nights ago, um, the night before TFT, and I was ordering from the manager of the restaurant. Big shirt that says manager. His phone rings, he looks at it, he say, and he answers it and starts talking to his friend Why he's ringing me up. I, I, I felt like saying, you know, this is why you should just flip that register around and, and, and become unemployed. Self-service. You know, getting, getting back to the, to the uh, getting lost in the virtual, though, I think, I think that pendulum will swing. You know, it was like, the Victorians used to cover up the legs of their tables because it was obscene to show the ankles of the tables, you know, and and that didn't keep going to some exponential asymptotic extreme. The the human community got to a point where they said this is ridiculous, and the pendulum came back again. And I don't. This is one of my issues with Kurzweil, Chris, is that I don't think systems go to the asymptote. They don't. There are, uh, by, uh, by the way. Uh, uh, there are it, compensating forces that bring it back, you know, and I think people will rediscover reality. They'll suddenly go, hang on, I've got to step away from my digital world and go and lie on some grass for a minute, you know? So, uh, Rob, I've got some good news for you that hasn't been announced officially. Uh, we, we are working with Ray Kurzweil to be on ITSM Weekly in January mm -hmm. to talk about his new, his new book. So uh, there are a bunch of people who are like, oh, who is Chris Dancy? Um, yeah, ask, I don't know, ask my shrink. So I, I, I agree with you, Rob, uh, in so many ways. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to swing, but unfortunately I feel it's going to swing, but it's going to splinter. Mm -hmm. So I, I do believe, that, you know, the, the having a choice between an augmented person and a regular person, it will be just a choice of, you know, a pear or a pear apple blend. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll deal with both types, and yeah. I'm not going to judge. I mean, I would want a doctor that has access to information instantly and doesn't have to look it up. In emergency room, I would not want a human doctor in 15 years. Uh, mm -hmm. I would want Watson, uh, especially for simple stuff if it's my child. But mm -hmm. if I wanted to talk and actually tell you how sad I was about the things I witnessed every day, I would want Rob England on augmented. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We'll move forward. We'll move forward, but. I don't think we're going to completely disappear up our own virtual fundamental orifices. You know, we'll we'll That's stay. Very dark we'll, we'll come back to reality as well. So, what did you guys think? Did anybody have a chance to watch Richard White? Yes. 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 So he was, he's the only speaker. He's the only speaker who swore. <laughs> That's only because I had the post-it note in front of me. You couldn't see it. That just said, "Don't swear." Okay. <laughs> Uh, did you guys have any thoughts? I mean, he's he's for for a lot of our audience, he would be considered kind of radical and 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 unprofessional. So I I actually I, I tweeted him and we went back and forth. I asked him, I asked him specifically. You kept saying I'm not familiar with this space. I didn't know what he was talking about. And so finally, he sent me in Twitter. Oh, I was talking about ITSM, and I, I didn't really know what he meant um, because I don't consider TFT to be just an ITSM. Uh, conference and, and I was I was actually lost on what he was saying. But otherwise, I thought it was great. I, he certainly brings a, a different perspective, and he, he he fits a market need, right? I don't know it's it's universally applicable, but uh, you know, what does it agree say? With what. what does it say? The fact that I didn't think it was actually radical. I I was quite accepting of the whole thing. Uh, check the bottles behind you, Simone. See if any of them are open. <laughs> um. 
Oh, yes, that'll, that'll be the uh, <laughs> lovely um, 1980s to turn out of the deep cellar here. Um, mm. well, again, I, again, I come from a tool background, <laughs> and I, 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 what, what these new, again, I call them help desk 2.0 tools, mm -hmm. You know that are mobile first, that have interfaces into who your customer is, and they're not Active yeah. Directory interfaces. That these these kids could have been, you know, some some other type of professional. They chose support. Uh, this yeah. is a model that we said would come, that came by the way, that does not that looked for a home, did not find it with us, and has splintered. Mm -hmm. I agree, and now uh, Matt prompted a thought there that. We're looking at this still through the traditional ITSM lens. I haven't listened to Richard yet, but I bet that if I do, I'll recognize service management mm. of old in what well, he's saying. You will. You will. And I think that's probably maybe why I wasn't, um, I guess, surprised in a lot of ways. Uh, when he was talking about having that whole, um, you know, knowing a whole host of things, robust knowledge about your customer, not just uh, mm -hmm. this little bit with the name and your location and where you s sit in the building. But mm -hmm. to me, that's old customer service where you actually had a complete customer relationship. You already knew exactly what was going on. Uh, happened when I was working, oh gosh, a long time ago before Ostar was even Ostar. But it was, uh, you know, we, we knew Mr. Smith and his hip problem. We knew Mrs. Jones and her cat. and. We knew when the wife was upset with the husband. It was just something that was natural. So when he was talking about all of that, that was just normal for me. Yeah. Well, that takes me back to my childhood where the corner shop was where you got your news. I mean, that was the internet. Mm -hmm. you, know, you went down to either the pub or the corner shop, and they knew you. And as soon as you walked in I mean, the pub, they would say the usual. It took me three years to get the guy behind the microbrew down here to learn that. Mm. You know, when I walk in, but, it's but, the same but thing. I, I, I think together is redefined now because now you're not with someone unless you're connected to everything about them and their connections. Mm. I, I think at the seminal moment when I woke up to the fact that we are so far removed from the world I thought I knew four years ago was watching the opening ceremony at the Olympics. When all of those athletes marched in, not looking around and smiling, <laughs> but holding their devices up like, yeah. like, like Lion King. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. They, they, they weren't there. No. Their devices were. <laughs> That's actually very true. I, it was something I, I noticed quite strongly, and I thought, you know, are they going to bump into the person in front of them because they're so busy watching the screen up here, you know? Yeah. So, you know, again, you know, I think, you know, as, as, as whatever we're considered, whatever the little niche hyper connected community we are in the internet, whatever we're considered, right? And all the people that support us, they're all Begley's and, 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 and all the people who don't, you know, communicate because they're just part of that community problem. What are we, you know, are we constantly thinking about, you know, not who, but what are we supporting? What, what has it become? What or think, who? Well, well, I think what and who are indistinguishable now. I mean, yeah. a lot of times you don't know what you're talking to or dealing with when you're dealing with a computer. And I think standard and case is a real good example of yeah. a remedy to the what versus who problem. Because mm. an algorithm could differentiate standard and case. I don't think a human can. I'm sorry, Rob. <laughs> I mean, nothing is as standard. I'm just thinking there are some humans that would be so, di so distracted by Facebook, they wouldn't even apply standard in case. <laughs> they don't have well, the attention for it. Uh, point, in, point in case. Uh, Pat Bolger just tweeted a, a test for, for people on the internet. How many pink elephants has Rob England got? So that's how much attention they pay. <laughs> if you look behind you, Rob, I can see one. Uh -huh, there's, you know. yeah. there's, well, there's four there's more two, over here. Two, yeah, yeah, we just can't see them. But I, I want to know what the statues uh, are over your right shoulder. I asked someone what the sculpture was behind Rob England while you were talking live, and he said it's a pink elephant. And I said, no. I said, look at the, uh, the actual art history looking things. I, I've got my, <laughs> in 2010, the ITSMF USA gave me the President's Award. Uh, uh, and, and basically, it's just recognition from the President. And I tell people all the time, I got this because I tweeted in 2009. <laughs> uh, so, uh, again, uh, Ne never underestimate the power of doing something first and, and not feeling comfortable with it. Um, guys, we got to wrap up. Um, any final thoughts? We'll start with Ian. 
No, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. And it's, uh, it's, I've learned so much, Chris, from you about hanging out now. Uh, you, you drag me screaming to this environment, and uh, it's not really an English thing that we do. You know, we used to sort of keep ourselves to ourselves. This is quite a learning experience, but I'm up for it. Thanks, Kirsty. Hey, Chris. I just want to say, and I already tweeted it. Just thank you so much for letting us be part of your dream. This mm -hmm. has been the best ride I have I've been on, and I'm trying not to get emotional here because it's been. A brilliant 24 hours. It's just, I mean, words can't say it. It's, it's been amazing. I'm just so proud to have been a part of it. And, I mean, just watch this space, people. Think big things are coming. Mr. Uh, Mark Kawasaki, someone I respect and, and, and admire and follow uh, mm -hmm. with, with everything you say. Yeah, I just want to say thanks to Chris and Kirsty and Tessa and uh, just really want to just reach out to everyone watching you know please pass the videos around to everyone you know that may benefit uh, let's see how far we can make this go and, and make your own videos I want to see more more people out there uh, my friend and co-host of the podcast for the last three years mr. Matt Hooper yeah just you know following up on mark said I, I I just I hope people appreciate the level of content that they just received in this conference uh, you know for the past seven eight years I have spent Seven to twelve hundred dollars per conference, multiple conferences between Pink, ITSMF, and SEM, and uh, you know just just tens of thousands of dollars, and, and haven't received a fraction of what I received today. And it was done for free with a lot of blood and sweat. And uh, I just hope that we are able to take this to the next level. I know that we are, and and uh, I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. And thank you again, Chris, for putting it all together. Uh. Rob England or IIT skeptic? I don't know who I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> you never do. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't either. Well done, mate. Uh, I'm fascinated to see what you and SDI do with this, but I'll even be, be even more fascinated to see what the community builds around this in June. I think we'll see things like um, hangouts around the hangouts and and who knows what as the community develops its own community around the virtual conference and that's going to be doubly fascinating. Well done. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Simone, uh, wow. horoscope. <laughs> Simone. <laughs> Um, I, I tell you what, it's, uh, I, I think I said it when I wrote the blog before it started, um, you know, you broke the catch-22 and this show hit the circuit boards in a way no one was going to uh, expect and uh, I, I think you blew it out of the water, guys, uh, so congrats team and um, huge thank you to, uh, even as speakers, we, we learnt you know, we, it, this was our opportunity to learn as well. And, uh, man, I can't wait for the next show. It's, uh, <laughs> talk about sticking your name up in lights. TFT's uh, certainly done that. So congratulations for a great show and uh, a debut of the start of something beautiful. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we finish here with Tessa. Uh, it was, your organization put a lot of work uh, into making this happen. Uh, you have an, a, an amazing team of people, uh, Zoe, uh, Emma, Jonathan, uh, Paul. Uh, I can't even go start to name all the people at STI, but if you could just give us your thoughts. Yeah, of course. I mean, I have an absolutely amazing team, and we can SDI have done it without them. <clears throat> I, think, um, I think it was Mark Smalley that tweeted today something like, um, there are no passengers, only crew on the TFT spaceship. Yep. And, you know, the crew today has been you guys, the speakers, it's been us, the facilitators, and it's been the audience. And I think I have just been so, so proud and privileged to have the honour to work with such an amazing crew. It's been a fantastic event, and I've loved every minute of it. Cool. Thanks. Um, well, you know, <laughs> Uh, what do you say to a day like this? Um, <laughs> you don't measure days like this the day it happens. You measure days like this a decade from now. Um, there will always be a need for a physical conference. I will always 
-hmm. have a requirement to hug people and to shake their hands and to look them in the eyes and let them feel my energy and know that I'm human and I'm human first. Um, I want to work with pink and I want to work with ITSMF and I want to work with HDI and I want to work with bright talk and, and sim and, and I want to work with user conf. I want to work with all of these people to help start uh, looking at ways we can connect these communities. Um, I think it was for me, the idea that we gave all of this away and we didn't ask for one email address. We didn't ask for $1 and we just asked and we didn't, we let our, we let our, our speakers, they brought their own audience. And you go to a, you go to a physical conference and you force an audience in front of a speaker. Our speakers brought their audiences. It's upside down. It's 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 outside in. Uh, our our speakers were digital first. Our speakers were social first. They were influenced first. So they 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 had messaging that was important and relevant with people who believed in them. The partnerships with SDI and the speakers themselves were absolutely amazing. This was a global effort, unprecedented, not only in IT service management, but in tech. And I want to thank Google and the people who watched us and said, you're not going to be able to pull this off, Chris Tansky. Um, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> so there, Google, I'm going to wait for the phone call. And then uh, I think I was human first. Uh, uh, time over time over time, we saw humanity triumph over, over adversity and technical issues, adversity and speaking issues, uh, and, and it just humanized so many people. I think moving forward, if you want to keep up or follow along, you've never heard of this or, or you follow this and you didn't know about these resources, uh, we have a group of podcasts. They're, they're streamed around the world. Uh, ITSM Weekly, you can just Google that. Uh, almost a lot of the speakers you heard today are on that show or have been guests. Uh, obviously, Twitter, if you're not on Twitter, you don't have to have an account. Just when you Google something, Twitter it. You'll start to learn the difference and you'll start to use the difference. Yeah. Um, there's a group on Facebook. Two years ago when I tried to start a group on Facebook, nobody wanted to join. It's Facebook. That's my private life. Today there are <laughs> 600 people there sharing documents, sharing information. But finally, this, this conference was, um, this conference was for, for everyone in my network well done, and connected Chris. to my network. Well done, and, uh, Chris. You, well done, Matt. <laughs> You are, you, are all the, you are all the most beautiful, authentic information systems that has ever been designed, and you were designed for abundance. You were designed for it. We need to put a hug machine in this <laughs> yeah. Google update. Yeah. I'll, see you well, all, I'll see you all in 2012. Godspeed. Thank you, Chris. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.